If you love your pastries, cakes, and all things sweet, join me every week for the next six weeks as I hop around the island in search for new patisseries, bakeries, and cake shops. This is Razor TV's Sugar Rush series. This week, I head uptown to a pretty little patisserie located at the Lux building just in between the Grand Cafe building and Plaza Singapura. We meet the people behind the business and find out more about how French and Japanese techniques have influenced the way modern cakes are made. Plus, we try out some of the delectable delights offered at One Caramel. <laughs> As you walk into One Caramel, you'll be greeted by a tempting array of pastries, cakes, desserts, and chocolates on display. This new patisserie, which opened on July 1st this year, marries the art of French pastry making and modern Japanese presentation style. But before we see whether the cakes taste as good as they look, let's meet the people behind the making. Now before we try out some of the goodies in store for us here, let's first find out what the secret to success is when it comes to making pastries. Let me introduce you to Melanie, who is the general manager of One Caramel, and Chef Reef, who is the head executive chef of the One Rochester Group, right? Hello, hi guys. Hello. Um, firstly, tell us a bit about One Caramel. One Caramel is a new patisserie that just opened in, on 1st of July. So the concept of it is basically Japanese, French, pastries but we have Australian coffee as well. Basically One Caramel is a development of One Rochester Group so we previously had the pastry bar in One Rochester and we decided to develop it further into a full-blown patisserie on its own called One Caramel. Okay, now well, Chef Reef, I heard that you are you're the head chef for the One Rochester Group yes. and you, you actually, your forte is more on food but now you're doing the girly stuff, you're making pastries. Yeah. Why, the, why the change? Um, not really a change though. I mean, uh, being a chef, you have to know a lot of stuff. So not just about hot food. So it's a good opportunity for me to have for one caramel. So uh, yeah, I decided to put some of the uh, cakes I, I have in my mind. So share with one caramel. <laughs> is, it, is it a softer side of you that you're no, you know, developing here at one caramel? Yeah, a little bit, not that much. <laughs> but yeah. It's all right, it's all right. Yeah, it's coping, coping well. Okay. Um, now, I see a lot of pastry shops these days, and they seem to be fusing Japanese and French methods of making pastries. So is that the secret of making a successful cake shop? Uh, I suppose so. But, well, it depends. Well, whereas, like, Japanese has always been about fresh ingredients, you know? Uh, fresh stuff. Uh, nothing is, like, frozen. Nothing is a... Uh, uh, pre-made or stuff like that and, and over here we try to use a lot of emphasize more on um, fresh berries from Australia so everything we try to get everything all fresh nothing like uh, frozen you know, and ready to use so I believe in freshness same goes to my hot stuff so and we use our French technique to cook our cake so I think it's, it's balanced yeah. so you're using the French technique which is very traditional very classical yes. to make more forward thinking modern Japanese yeah. kind of yeah. kind of patisseries yeah that's what I'm looking at okay can you tell us can you elaborate can you tell us a bit more like how, how exactly does it work how I'm not so sure how to describe to you but as far as I'm concerned in terms of making cakes a lot of people involve a lot of chocolates a lot of the uh, uh, cream uh, uh, what else eggs, flour, you know, all this kind of heavy stuff, you know. But over here, I'm trying to use a lot of uh, light, light ingredients, uh, less on the sugars, uh, a lot of uh, sweetness from fruits, you know, uh, less flour, less egg. So basically, it's all involved about, you know, some light stuff, so women can eat, you know. So not, not, not really... Without feeling guilty. Yeah, not, not feeling guilty, <laughs> not like uh, thinking, oh, I'm going to go gym later on, you know what I mean? So, it's, yeah, I'm trying to focus on that, that area. Okay. Yeah. Mel Melanie, you travel a lot and I heard that you wanted to bring the Tokyo cake scene to Singapore. What does that mean? What it means to me was more like a visual thing. So when I went to Tokyo, it was like you have rows and rows of cakes on the shelf. So it was very visually appealing and it was very pretty and makes you want to buy them, have them. <laughs> it's like shopping for cakes. So I decided to bring it back to Singapore in a way that People get wowed by our selection of cakes, which is currently we have 37 of them. Every day is freshly baked and stuff. So when people come in, they look at the cakes and it's just wow. Yeah, yeah that's the kind of thing I wanted to bring. All right, and now speaking of the cakes, like, can you, I mean, I see these 
cakes on display here. What is the concept or theme behind it? Like this one. This one was obviously when I went to Tokyo and just thought about it and like wedding in a sak under a sakura tree. Not very possible in Singapore, but we can actually try to put it into the wedding cake. So I obviously cannot execute it, so I need Chef Reef to help me with it. Okay, so how do you exchange your ideas? How does it work? Uh, yeah, she just give me the details that what she feels like, and I just execute. That's about it. So yeah, I can visualize it away. Like you mentioned earlier, like how she she likes these ideas of very simple cakes, but it's more like the concept of making it very pretty. Yeah. That's how she come. That's how. Yeah. That's where you come yeah. in, right? Yeah. Now you guys produce twenty seven cakes a day. Why the number twenty seven? Not twenty seven though. Well, we are looking at more. Um, uh, but right now we just start with twenty seven for now. And once uh, things get smooth, uh, we got a lot of response, and we will fill up more and more uh, cakes. Up next, me and my sweet tooth buddy try out some of the 27 cakes that were on display, including the delicious red miso souffle.